in this acid bases and salt experiment, we're given five substances labeled A to E. And we're going to make classify them as strong acid, B acid, strong base, B base, or a neutral solution. And then we're going to determine the identities. Now, in no particular order, these substances are aqueous ammonia, sodium chloride solution, sodium hydroxide solution, ethanolic acid, and hydrochloric acid. Now, we're going to determine their pH, and we're going to use that to determine whether they are strong acid, weak base, etc. We're going to be using universal indicator, so we're going to take a little bit of each solution, A, B, C, D, E, and we're going to um, drop it on a uh, strip of the universal indicator paper, then we're going to match the characteristic color change that's given and um, determine its pH. And then after that, we're going to pretty much figure out based on our knowledge of strong acids, strong bases, which solution is which. So let's start with the first one. So we'll just take solution A and we'll just pour it onto our universal indicator paper. That will get a color change. So we'll just um, take the sheet and we'll just match. So the color there, this is corresponding with pH one based on that color. So we can just leave that one right there. All right, and we do the same thing for, for B. So, we're pouring a small amount of B. All right, we we'll have it. And we're just going to see which color that corresponds with. All right, we're seeing where that matches with. Based on what's there, we can see the number, we can see it. All right, we're going to do the same thing with C. And um, just to, to speed things up a bit, I could just pour a little of C into spotting that hole in the spotting pile and I could just dip, dip the strip into the solution and then we do the usual with match. So let's see what that corresponds with. This is based on what's here. This looks like 13. All right and we'll, we'll keep going. All right, so that was that was that was C, so this is now B, so we'll just pour a little of B and careful not to touch the strip with my hands because that could contaminate the strip, especially if my hands have um, chemicals on it. So for D, we dip and we're going to match to see which color that corresponds to. Now this is looking, okay, getting fun here. This is looking like, let's see, like four. And we do the same thing for the last one. So we pour a small amount of E. I'm not going to touch it. All right, so we'll just, as the color changes, we'll just go right away and find which color this matches. So let's see, it's not over, one, two, three, not five. Let's see, this is looking like, uh -oh, looking like 12. This is looking like 12. All right, so that is it. So we've got our corresponding um, color changes and we match the pH associated with those color changes. We need to use the, um, that, all of that information to determine which is which, whether A is ammonia, A is sodium chloride, A is sodium hydroxide, or whatever it is. So that's what we're going to do, and we know how to write it for an absolute. So, a later.